Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chief Executive Officer Outfield Leadership, Dave McEwen. My name is David uh, McEwen. I am the CEO of Outfield Leadership, and I speak, I train, and I coach on becoming a leader of authenticity, purpose, and effectiveness. And I want to share some thoughts with you on how we might reimagine the art of leadership. We begin to realize and understand that as we're operating as leaders in the business, when we come to a decision-making um, body, we have to leave our functional hat at the door. There's a greater purpose here, which is the good, the interests of the organization, of the in enterprise, whatever we're there to discuss. And that the viewpoint that you bring should be on getting the best outcome for the organization. And so enterprise leaders start to realize that they are a cog in a wider wheel that is the organization. Because I'll tell you that leaders, and I've seen it happen again and again, leaders who make decisions that are in the best, best interests for the community, do you know what funny enough happens? It comes back down and it's in the best interest of the organization. It may not seem like that initially, but it rolls down and the benefit and the payoff is there. I believe that the media has done us a disservice by overemphasizing or mythologizing the nature of heroic leadership. The problem with heroic leadership um, is that, and, and, and don't get me wrong, we need it in times. We need it in certain times of, of crisis. But the problem with heroic leadership when we build it into our organization every day is two things. Number one, when you pit yourself as the hero, you're teaching learned helplessness in your people every day. And it can happen in small ways. It doesn't have to be big, bold ways. You believe that you're saving the day, but you're denying them an opportunity to go and handle that emergency or that crisis or that problem themselves. You're stripping away their ability to develop and you're creating a sense of learned helplessness. But when you think about your leadership purpose, I encourage you be the guide, not the hero, and call others to their adventure. It's about facing an obstacle that's in front of us and becoming a better version of ourselves. And your leadership purpose, I encourage you, should be all about helping your people become the best version of themselves. So be the guide and not the hero. where you understand your own uniqueness as a leader and you understand the uniqueness of the other people in your team as a leader and you can talk openly and honestly about it and connect with each other toward a higher purpose and imagine what the world could be like if we start interacting with each other on that level 